I'll talk about uh, cycling that has been in Westbury since actually the beginning of the, the 20th century. Uh, I, you have a photograph there that has been take, was taken out of the town hall in Westbury in the early 1901, or between 01 and 05. And that was the a cycling club in Westbury. In it was my grandfather and actually two of my uncles. Then there is another picture there uh, which was taken of my uncle who uh, in 1908 created a record in cycling from Westport to Dublin in 11 hours, uh, just over 11 hours. Um, so cycling is not a new fashion in Westport. It's been here since uh, well at the end of the, the 19th century and well as you as all, we all know we're well into the 20th century and going strong in the 21st century. Um, uh, we in our business here, Brehany Cycles, uh, we've been involved four generations in the cycling business. Originally we were blacksmiths, but uh, we also, uh, when bicycles began to be mass produced, uh, we used, they used to be brought in in boxes and assembled here and sold. Uh, then my uncles were both two uncles very involved in cycling as the man that created the record to Dublin. He was Thomas Brehany. Uh, he immigrated to America in the 1910s. Uh, my other uncle, Uncle Stephen, he went to America also but came back uh, when my grandfather died and uh, he carried on the cycling business until I took it up. So we're steeped in cycling. Uh, I don't know what happened in the intervening years up to the 1940s, but soon after the Second World War, cycling started up here in Westward again. Uh, Westward Cycling Club, uh, the most well-known person in it was, of course, Mickey Palmer, who rode the Ross and wore yellow in the Ross. Uh, then in the late 1990s, cycling kind of died a bit. So in uh, 2000, or 1994, we started up Kobe Wheelers. Uh, we were just a leisure cycling club. And as we progressed, the cycling grew, and uh, we became part of uh, Westbrook Cycling Club. So it's now Westbrook uh, Kobe Wheelers Cycling Club. So uh, that's more or less a brief history of cycling and as a club in Westbrook. So, uh, as in the business, uh, well, cycling was very, very popular. As anyone will see old photographs in the 1940s, 1930s, uh, everybody cycled to work. Uh, it was huge. Uh, the few factories in Westport, there was uh, the, shoe, the shoe factory and uh, the sewing cotton company. If there was anyone saw photographs of people leaving those work uh, to be all bicycles. Everybody cycled to dances, and but gradually, as the motor car took over and we became more affluent, uh, cycling became the poor man's transport. But amazingly, now in the 19 and the 2010s, it's the new god. Everybody is cycling, so it's life is a wheel is round as life is round and cycling is round. So it's been great, and it's great to have now this green way to Ackle. It has uh, given people a whole new lease of life and uh, because it's safe, safe, clean, open road with no transit or cars to compete with. So I would encourage anybody who has any, uh, wants to cycle to take a try on the Greenway. It's safe. So.